Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you're all doing well. Happy birthday, Virgo. So if you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below this video. And uh, yeah, you guys can also check out the decks that I have for sale. There should be links underneath the video as well. And uh, yeah, so we're going to take a look. Virgo, this is a reading for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Uh, see what the energies are playing out for September 2022. Hello everyone in the chat. Hope you guys are doing well. All right, so first card that flew out, Cupid's Arrows. So have faith, Virgo, love is coming. Surprise, invitation, or meeting. Uh, a little bit of hesitation. Um maybe on your part or in this person's part, but doing it anyway is what I feel. Okay, somebody does not feel like they are good enough for you. Feeling frustrated in a relationship or this person just not feeling good enough to be in a relationship. Maybe they're in one before and things didn't go well. This person, I feel like, has a lack of confidence, has a tendency towards self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and maybe jealousy. That I feel has something to do with this hesitation of why this person um, is, it's like dipping their toe in the water. It's like just kind of, you know, uh, I gotta, I know I gotta do this. I want love. I want to be connected. You know, I know I can do this. I know I can do this, but then hesitating, but you know what, this, whoever this person is, this the energy of them having low self-esteem or lack of confidence makes me feel like they're going to, um, look, you've got love. They're going to take a chance here. Okay. Hmm. That's very interesting. Let's get into this reading and see what other messages there are. Who is this person? could be somebody that you're currently connected with or someone that you know okay they may sabotage love or they've sabotaged a relationship in the past this love card here this is all about self-love so I feel like this person hmm they struggle with feeling worthy of love and um, not just your love but just in general you know, I feel like this person gets frustrated very easily. They get jealous or they're concerned if you talk to other people that they feel like, oh, you know, you're not interested or you don't want them. But, okay, Ace of Wands. So there's a new beginning happening here that somebody, this person I feel like is healing themselves they're getting some kind of healing they're very attracted to you they feel like you're the one for them they have a lot of affection towards you and a tremendous amount of unconditional love i feel like this person struggles with people pleasing um they they please everybody else they try to give to others or, or they're like a yes man or a yes girl. You know, they always say yes, but they don't feel worthy of receiving love in return, which is very interesting. So this Ace of Wands is telling me like there's good news. This person, I feel like um, this is a physical start. There's passion. So um, I will tell you that this person is very physically attracted to you and that has not gone away okay that has never gone away this person loves you we're gonna find out who it is of course but they they're feeling a sense of urgency okay to connect with you you know um, because they've been healing this is what I feel like I don't know if they've been seeking some type of spiritual help or um, getting some like Reiki done or um, maybe they watch tarot cards or they're getting readings or trying to heal through tarot card readings trying to understand themselves trying to understand you 
uh, this person, whatever the challenges that are present within themselves and with you, I feel like they're going to accept this challenge here. Okay. I see a lot of growth happening with this person. A lot of growth and a lot of change. Let's see here. Okay. So the Ace of Cups is in the reverse. Yeah, this person sometimes feels like this is unrequited love kind of situation. Like, But at the same time, this is like negative thinking. They think very negatively about themselves. I feel like this person has struggled with self-worth issues. And there's an element here of sadness and pain, you know. So I feel like when it comes to the physical thing, the physical attraction, um, they feel like that's a yes. You know, they, they feel confident in that area. But when it comes to the emotions, they kind of hold back or they've always done that. Okay. Um, it's like blocked or repressed emotions. You know, the Ace of Cups, whether it's in the reverse or upright, it's still a good card. I feel like this is where their weak spots are to open up and express how they truly feel like their deepest hidden emotions. They hesitate in that area. When it comes to the physical thing um, or taking action in a sense of like, how can I explain this? Getting together, you know, like gung-ho gung -ho about getting together or connecting with you or um, having that passion for you is there but then when it comes time to express the emotional intimacy they hesitate they've hesitated they're still working on that but i also feel like because they're going through this healing process they're also coming to terms with the fact that they really do have unconditional love for you that they truly do love you and i feel like that's what this person's finding out cupid's arrow <laughs> that's like grace coming down you know this is like hey you love Virgo. You know that you do. But stop self-sabotaging or sabotaging this relationship or this connection with Virgo. You don't feel good enough. Therefore, you don't think they think you're good enough, but you're projecting. And this is what the, this person is coming to understand about themselves. Okay, let's see what else we have. All right, look at that. Now, big changes and opportunities. Okay, so there might be some travel. This person might be making plans to try to come your way. They're, this person is like taking a risk. They're jumping in. Okay, arrival, departure. There might be um, something to do with an airport here or a bus station or a pickup or drop off or train perhaps. But I feel like this person, oh look, here's the King of Wands again, just like yesterday. So... Aries Leo Sagittarius energy okay um, let me see here so there's definitely going to be communication oops I hope that late definitely going to be some communication from this person and it's going to be quick um, and fast very assertive this person might have been very indirect in the past they may have tried to I see them being very talkative. So there might be a, a message or a phone call, and then it just kind of takes off. Like they're very, they become very assertive in their initiating here with you. Okay, um, almost it almost feels impulsive. So I feel like um, you know, there's a daring, rebellious energy about this communication with this person. Their mind is going like a million miles a minute million miles a minute mm -hmm. they have so much that they want to say to you so much that they want to talk to you about and also tell you about all this mental clarity that they're getting or that they're coming to um king of wands energy this is so this is someone and it doesn't matter what sign they are the king of wands is someone who is action oriented so this in other words this could be someone who um they don't share their emotions a lot. They don't share their thoughts a lot, but they do, you recognize them by their um, physical activity. They're very um, like a go-getter when it comes to physical. They, they have a lot of energy. Okay, so let me see here. And the King of Wands upright, 
male or female energy is someone who's becoming very confident i feel like this person took a hit some at some point emotionally which has caused them to hesitate in opening up emotionally in the you know okay so you've got three aces oh my gosh yeah it's interesting ace of cups is the only one in reverse so total new beginnings here this person's there's definitely going to be new ideas new plans um success mental clarity this person is having a breakthrough clear thinking they know what they need to do and i feel like that truth is going to come out that you know they've hesitated in expressing that they truly do love you and also expressing their fears and insecurities that they did not feel that they were enough and that they were um or that they're jealous when you talk to other people or when you um or when they think there might be somebody else in your life and basically um, this person wants to like get that ace of cups in the upright with you and open up and express how they feel have this new relationship have a new romance happiness joy this is how they feel for you but they they suppress it okay so that clarity there's going to be definitely like victory um, definitely communication this person will be a concentrated effort is what I f what I feel like you're going to feel from this person very focused on you and this connection you know this person is realizing the truth about themselves that they were projecting okay yep see hmm they were sitting right the four uh, four of cups on the ace of cups in reverse this person I, I feel like there's regret here uh, they they're, they're concerned that they've missed they miss an opportunity here with you <clears throat> that they've put this relationship or that this relationship is in a stalemate at this time you know this person focused on all of the negative like i said projecting their insecurities onto you okay but there's remorse here about all this about not opening up and telling you how they feel and how does this person feel about Virgo? Wow. <laughs> this person really loves you, Virgo. They truly, truly, truly do. But I feel like they want to be able to cultivate something here with you to have growth from the emotional aspect, to be, you know, be able to open up. They, uh, they're seeking an opportunity from you to allow them to speak their truth, okay? But they also feel that you might be hesitant to give that to them. Let's see? Yeah, this person is fearful that you're going to reject them or that there will be a separation or a breakup or, or it, that if this if it's too late to try to make something happen here with you but i feel like part of this journey for this person is not just to express how they feel about you but to take those steps to be able to express period they uh, this person feels like they owe you that they owe you the truth and the clarity um, that they were hesitant not that they didn't love you and not that they didn't have affection or care for you they were hesitant they had, this person um, fears that they are just someone who is not good enough and especially for you for some reason now why why does this person feel this way when it comes to you okay hmm they're yeah they're afraid that you're going to reject them or block them even if you you know came in with your arms wide open you know they looked and they saw that your arms were completely closed for some reason like there's a lot of projecting going on with this person 
right? <laughs> but they, they so, they're so in love with you. This person pushed you away because they had such deep, intense feelings. You know, this person blocked the vulnerability. But why did they do that? Oh. Hmm. Well, it, they, they feel like that you love them too much or that you would find if they became vulnerable or transparent with you that you would block them or push them away or say no i don't i don't want this i don't want you there's they were they were fearful you would see all their flaws so they wouldn't open up okay to show you this and this is a twin flame right here for me at least in my readings with the lovers that's twin flame energy so you know twin flame relationships always have to do with triggers and growth always especially when in separation that's when the lesson is learned that's when the most growth happens you know i always use the analogy like when you're lifting weights it's on your rest days when you're not at the gym, you're separated from the gym is when you make the most gains. Rest days are just as important, you know. So I feel like if, if you and this person, you know, are in separation or there's something going on in this connection where somebody rejected you and then you, you block them in return or there's something along those lines or you're just not speaking, this is where the growth is happening. This person is getting some kind of healing some kind of healing their their eyes are opening to themselves yep look at that six of swords this transition healing just as i said progress moving forward things calming down calm after a storm getting some rest looking at how they were running away are escaping they weren't rejecting you they were they were running away from their feelings and their emotions okay yeah look at that wow Whew, you guys i'm telling you my my cards don't lie these readings five of cups sadness grief loss despair abandonment guilt remorse regret okay this person i don't know if they came in this way to start and that is why things just never progressed or reached total fulfillment, okay? There was a lot of pushback. There's a lot of, um, I can't let you in. There was a lot of that. I'm so afraid you're going to see my flaws and decide you don't want me. Very, a lot of um, insecurity with that not enough, not feeling good enough. But you know what, Virgo? when everybody has insecurities right so when we meet someone even ourselves nobody ever wants to show their flaws but it's in the, the flaws are what are beautiful right and i feel like this person is kind of like ex learning to accept themselves i just saw the queen of cups at the bottom of the deck so if it shows up again cancer scorpio pisces energy there male or female let me see how does virgo feel about this person okay virgo that's your card there knight of pentacles i mean you're patient but you are patient for only so long <laughs> you know i mean it's like i kind of feel you might have somewhere deep down in your heart you know you know, I don't want to say that you're just going to take somebody back and treat you bad. I don't think you should do that. But I feel like there's a little teeny grain of sand where you um, you're, you have such a giving heart. You're like such a, a nurturer and you understand and you care for people. And I feel like if this person made a good faith effort, towards you with this healing the star okay um wanted to renew this connection because there was actual like you can just tell with people when they've had some miraculous change i will say it is the exception to the rule so this may not happen for all of you 
but I feel like you would you wouldn't rush after this person okay but you would in some regard hold your pentacle there and just kind of sit there and say well it's here if you're ready for it if you are not I'm moving forward but you're not waiting I see that here because you are on your own healing journey as well okay you are getting your faith back rejuvenating yourself physically mentally emotionally spiritually okay you're becoming content with yourself and what road you know what's what's on what's in the open road ahead of you you know so you know i like your energy i like the way you're you know you're viewing yourself as a superstar <laughs> you're viewing yourself as you know knowing that you're good enough and that might be something that you are coming to terms with and learning about yourself okay right see page of wands in the reverse okay so you're lacking the ambition to make this person a goal of yours you're lacking um you don't have the ambition to pursue and you're not pursuing like i said you're kind of some of you are just kind of like it's here if you want it it's a good faith offer i meant what i said it was real and here's proof but if if they don't come to take it you know you're still going to stand there and just kind of be like like you're not pursuing but you're staying in um, what's real to you. So if somebody were else were to come along and, and see the value that you're you know, presenting and recognize that in you because they recognize their own worth, then you're good for that, you know? But I don't see you doing any reaching out. Page of Wands in the reverse. You're not communicating. You're not reaching out. You're not getting... Um, you're not being hasty or gullible with anybody. <clears throat> you're not gaslighting yourself. Okay? Your energy is like you've redirected your energy into self, into spirit, into what's best for you. There you go. Queen of Pentacles. So, you know, you're actually focused on your own value now. Male or female energy. You're looking at yourself and you're saying, you know what? I am worth this. So you're in a good place. And I, I think that's wonderful for you. I feel like this person though, is definitely coming to terms with things within themselves. And that's great. And if, if they just come back to tell you all of this, wonderful. But I do feel they're hoping that if they do tell all, tell, you know, give the tell all, and explain everything to you and talk to you about things they're hoping that you will give them another chance okay but at the end of the day like I always say bloody stumps you know if this person is going to do it and you're ready willing and able and they're ready willing and able and motivated and all that to make something work here then I think you would be on board if it was true other because Virgo you live in truth it has to be true it has to be real. And if it's not, you'll keep moving. Okay. Romance angels. Okay. There's a lot of chemistry between you. Very, very strong chemistry with you and this person. A very magnetic attraction between the two of you. And that, when that chemistry is right, it's hard to get rid of that. that. It doesn't go away. The chemistry does never go away. And I think with Virgo... When you make up your mind that you you love someone fully, you never stop loving them. You may dissociate disassociate from that person, but that love never goes away. It may fade a little, but it never fully goes away. And and a lot of that has to do with the chemistry as well. Okay. So past life relationship. You have known each other before. So that's a twin flame. Okay, so I guess this is going to be a twin flame reading. I had no intention. I just free ball it. <laughs> free fall. <laughs> no, freestyle. Oh my God. So yeah, <laughs> I think this is the direction that this is going. Look at that. There's a lot of passion here. Two people who have a lot of passion for each other. Still, chemistry and passion. And you have the love, or you had it at some point, and it was strong. It was on the spectrum. I don't know where you're at with it now, but um, 
this person, you know, they, they have had it. They just never expressed it fully to you. Really, truly, truly opened up. And like the lovers made themselves vulnerable to you fully. Um, they had a lot of hesitation. Let's see what your moon message is. Wow. Full moon in Aries. Fiery climax approaches. Hold on, you guys. Okay. So September 10th, I feel like, is going to be uh, a climactic day. September 10th. You may receive a message from someone, this person, around September 10th, and things start happening. I want to get some messages of love oracle cards. Something's going to happen. Fiery climax. Everything comes together in a very passionate way on uh, right around September 10th. Oh, that's the end of this weekend. Okay. Let's see. What are the love messages here for Virgo? What does this person want to tell Virgo? What are the inner, what are the hidden love messages from this person? Okay. I couldn't let you get close to me. See, this person had a real, oh boy, such a fear of rejection, such a fear of vulnerability, but loving you to the ends of the earth. Okay. I left before you could leave me. So this person might have walked away. Okay. Or just pulled away, whichever. Or you did, and then they did. Okay. But mostly it seems like even if this person and you stayed connected, they left their heart back at the house. Okay. Where they just weren't sharing. They weren't opening up. They weren't telling you that how they felt about you. And I mean their um, their love ex their love expression for you, or sharing that in any love language. There was a feeling of deprivation on your part. Okay, let me see what else would they want to tell you. Okay, so I'm starting to understand our connection. Here you go. That's what I'm saying. I feel like this person is really coming, things are coming to a head here for them. Um, and it, they're getting some kind of help or they're, they're you know, they're, they're listening to, I don't know if it's tarot or somebody is talking to them. Maybe it's a friend or they have a paid um, counselor or therapist or some type of modality of healing is, is making all the change here. My life is not together, not as together as it seems. So I feel like this person gave you their representative or a presentation in order, uh, kind of like masking, in order for you to accept them. But that's not really, there was something more. There was someone else that the real, true self, deep down inside. This person does not lack an identity. They just, um, they withheld who they were from you and they presented this representative so that to convince you that they were good enough but I feel like you saw through that Virgo this person is still so attracted to you okay they still want you Virgo definitely and I feel like this desire that this person has for you is what is causing them to take a look and self-reflect and say, wait a minute, did I sabotage this? Maybe they blamed you in the past or told you that, you know, whatever, just blame shifted. I feel like this person is like actually questioning themselves or their eyes are beginning to open, their heart is beginning to open. This person looks for you everywhere. So there's a little bit of spying energy too, seeking, trying to find you trying to see you somehow some way okay get a glimpse of you okay this relationship can stand the test of time stability so if you want it virgo and twin flame oh boy
that's a twin flame relationship oh my goodness <laughs> it figures every once in a while they pop out you know all right hold on i'm gonna roll my dice here so i'm gonna put you on mute so it doesn't hurt your ears one sec okay all right so we have taurus gemini that damn gemini i don't know who's got a gemini but boy gemini just keeps showing up another virgo we have an aries um okay so somebody's address is 1212 okay all right 2022 is going to be now listen um september 10th which i i felt it, that's the full moon which i felt is there's going to be some type of like pow boom big moment okay um that's the second day after the mercury retrograde begins which is september 9th so there is a past a twin flame reconnection happening here okay um this year will be very significant we still have time left so <laughs> oh i hear a strange noise i think i have a mouse in my house anyway uh somebody's 42 okay somebody is 50 um let's see somebody was born in 1965 um they're giving me the numbers three four two yeah there's like a oh my goodness hold on there's a chomping sound i think i have a mouse in my house oh my gosh okay um let's see we also have September 24th for birthday, September 14th, um, giving me the numbers 212, okay, and somebody I'm picking up age 54, and I'm also picking up 65, and then 59. Okay, and now they're telling me 821, numbers 821. Oh, and then I'm also getting Cancer and Leo. So somebody might be on the cusp, maybe. Um, July 23rd, 21st, somewhere like right when Leo starts and Cancer ends, somewhere around there. Okay. Let's get some charms. All right, so we have a salamander. And I do believe the salamander represents Aries um, or fire sign. Now, somebody might live somewhere where there's like salamanders or um, I don't know where that would be. Would that be? Well, I only know. I know I think I've seen salamanders in Florida I'm sure there are other places as well but I feel like somebody wherever there's salamanders or some type of like cold-blooded creatures um, that might be a message for you there's also this is a symbol somebody might have this maybe you or another person has a salamander uh, or some kind of lizard or maybe it's a tattoo or a pet or something like that here's the butterfly again you guys okay they just told me butterfly effect butterfly effect I'm not isn't wasn't that a movie okay butterfly butterfly effect something to do with a butterfly and then you have a key again okay the key is very symbolic it was there yesterday as well and that key is giving me like you might be there's an exchange of keys happening or receiving a key or getting a key in September for something very significant an offer of some sort key an offer okay so we also have a dove this is a dove of peace so I'm hearing an olive branch is offered as well there's peace calmness tranquility okay um, and I'm also picking up 
somebody saw or will see um, a bird flying but it either hits a window like there's a bird that hits a window and I think birds usually do that in the spring don't they um, in the northern hemisphere but I'm also hearing there's somebody may have a bird in their home trapped in their house or maybe you just have a pet bird okay or somebody has a pet bird and then wow we have a deer okay this kind of looks like a fawn or maybe somebody's name is fawn but there's a deer here so I'm, I'm picking up birds and deers and I'm, I'm feeling very snow white energy <laughs> snow white snow white what does snow white so they're giving me the forbidden fruit or forbidden apple or a poison apple I don't know what that means or looking in the mirror something to do with a mirror yeah okay that's a really strange message uh, maybe you watched Snow White or there's something in that movie or something about that tale that that is a message in there for you there's the story of Snow White okay let me do one more okay Oh, they gave me two a key again so that's what I was feeling like an exchange of keys there's an exchange of keys or two keys that feels like hierophant that's conformity that's structure that's um, no more rebelling no more running away this is um, by the book this could be commitment as well somebody's coming in with a like to offer a commitment to you if somebody's ready to take that step and then um, a bunch of grapes are you eating grapes right now Virgo somebody might be eating grapes or is having grape jam or grape jelly or is that somebody's favorite um, thing to have maybe you put it in your 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 breakfast cereal or something I'm just feeling like a bunch of grapes you could be shopping right now in, a, in like produce and getting some grapes I don't know how grapes would taste right now I guess they would be okay yeah a bunch of grapes or grapes hanging from a tree or a grapevine somebody might be drinking wine as well all right I just want to give your um, Chinese signs and then I'm gonna be done hold on one second so these are going to be the Chinese zodiac signs if you're new um, it's of your person of this twin flame um, or it's you or it's both of you or it's neither so you know take it with a grain of salt we'll see it's just for confirmation okay okay so you're the tiger year of the goat we are actually in a tiger year right now so that could also represent the tiger year this year okay year of the pig year of the rabbit oh you see year of the rat okay we have a horse year of the monkey and one more and year of the dragon I feel like dragon is always in these readings <laughs> it's because you you dragons are so aggressive <clears throat> all right I'm gonna give you one last message and then I'm gonna sign off okay let's see one last message for Virgo one last final message for Virgo specifically Okay, the wolf. Beware who you trust. <coughs> Excuse me. Now that might be related to this reading. This might be completely separate. You will have to understand this yourself. Okay, beware of who you trust. Beware of who you share your everythings with. Be selective. Vet. Understand that not everyone 
path has your best interest at heart. And I feel like that's an overall message just for you in your life, especially for September, to just be very careful um, the information that you give. And they're telling me to give you one more. The Sphinx, choose your words carefully. Okay. Choose your words carefully, Virgo. And that, you know, I, I don't really feel like this is anything to do with this reading. I feel like this is more to do with in general. Okay. Um, I don't feel like it's a warning that you're going to talk to people and someone's going to be betraying you. I don't feel that. I just feel it's just a message as you go forward in your life and in the month of September that you um, just be just be aware okay be be aware of your surroundings and the people that you talk to and new people or anyone that you do business or have any dealings with okay there might be a wolf a wolf in sheep's clothing and um, be very choice with your words and selective it's not a warning so I don't feel like you need to worry I'm not predicting somebody's going to come in and betray you in any way I just feel like choose your words carefully feels like less talking and more listening okay seek to understand what someone else is the message you're trying to convey to you before uh, listen first and that and then speak later okay listen first so you can understand and so you know and you're aware if someone is trying to um, manipulate you or things like that let pe the less you talk the more people will talk the, the more you pause the more people will probably get a little uncomfortable with the silence and then they'll want to fill in the silence and they'll talk more okay just be very select all right so that's going to be your reading virgo i hope that that was helpful and um yeah i will be back here tomorrow and again oh um tomorrow is thursday so i'm gonna do your weekend reading so um yeah don't forget to follow me you guys on instagram um i'm also on facebook i have a facebook uh page it's all house house o virgo house of virgo just look me up and i'm also on twitter and if you guys want to follow me, i don't really use um all of those social media things often and i probably should more but <laughs> i don't I don't know once in a while I will and I'll just post some stuff and then I'll take a break for a while but you can follow me on there if you want to reach out and get a personal reading the link is below this video all right you guys don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button on your way out and I'll see you tomorrow for your weekend reading love you and happy birthday Virgo bye